Hi everyone, and welcome to our series on cyber threats and attack vectors. In today's digital age, our lives are heavily connected to the internet. We use it to work, shop, manage finances, and stay connected with others. But this convenience also brings risks, like cyber threats that could expose your personal information, financial data, or even your identity to malicious attackers. So, what exactly are cyber threats? Simply put, a cyber threat is any attempt to damage, disrupt, or gain unauthorized access to a computer system, network, or data. Cyber threats come in many forms, and each has its unique way of bypassing security measures and breaching our digital defenses. Some of the most common cyber threats include malware, phishing, ransomware, and distributed denial of service, or DDoS attacks. Attack vectors are the methods or pathways that cyber criminals use to infiltrate your systems. Phishing emails appear legitimate, often looking like they're from a reputable company, but they contain links that direct you to fake websites or prompt you to download malicious attachments. Next, we have unsecured Wi-Fi networks, like those found in cafes or public areas. When you connect to these networks, you're potentially exposing your data to hackers who may be lurking on the same network, waiting for an opportunity to intercept your information. Social engineering is another powerful attack vector. Cyber criminals manipulate people into divulging confidential information or giving physical access to systems. Each of these attack vectors takes advantage of a different aspect of human behavior or technical vulnerability, which is why it's so important to remain aware and vigilant online. In our increasingly digital world, managing and securing your online identity has become crucial especially if you're using multiple accounts. Here's where tools like GoLogin come in. GoLogin, the best browser for multi-accounting. With GoLogin, you can manage multiple accounts across different platforms, safely and efficiently. Why is this important? Well, if you're using multiple accounts for work, personal use, or other activities, it can be risky to do it all from a single IP address or browser. Cyber criminals could link these accounts together, making it easier to track you or compromise multiple accounts at once. Always use strong, unique passwords for each of your accounts and enable two-factor authentication wherever possible. Keep your software updated. Cyber attackers often exploit vulnerabilities in outdated software to gain access to systems. Be wary of suspicious links and emails, especially those that seem too good to be true or come from unfamiliar sources. If you're unsure, it's always better to err on the side of caution. In our next video, we'll dive deeper into specific types of cyber threats and how they work. So make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any valuable information. Thanks for watching and stay safe online.